I came here to be the best ever and to retire my mama for the rest of her life. You got one of the baddest boys coming out in the draft. Who's next? Who's next? When I come back to Tallahassee, I feel a plethora of emotions. But overall, I'm happy. It looks as though they're picking up the tradition as it once were. I happen to have watched a lot on Jalen Ramsey. He has that old school Florida State corner type of attitude. Like, I'm the dog, I'm the man. Come see me get down. Young fella, what's up now? This is how y'all doing it now? This is how we did it. Oh my God. Y'all paved the way, we kept it going. It's intended for Ryder. It's intercepted by Deion Sanders. What a How was your whole stay in, Dallas? You like it? Loved it. Coming in, starting that corner immediately. You know, they talking about me and you. First first since Deion. I'm that don't happen, man, boy. It just started, started picking up, started going fast, fast. The game was slowing down for me. Started enjoying it. Intercepted by who else but Jalen Ramsey. That's what your daddy's always telling me, man. Dion was the best practice player first, but y'all got to see Dion on the field. Oh, man. Hey, you set that tone. I'm trying to meet it. I used to go to the quarterback and say, look, I'm going to get you today, you today, you today, <laughs> you today. <laughs> Oh, my God. Do you know who this man is? I know who it is. That's the, the, the man. Dude, Everybody talk about this man. Coach, you instilled something in us, man, on this practice field that was just legendary. You know how many times they tell us stories about you making people bear crawl? I it never, I never made a soul bear crawl. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he did that. He did it. <laughs> he did it. What you see in this guy, Coach? I you saw a big Deion Sanders. You. The difference is you did it here and you did it up yonder. Yeah. Yeah. He's done it here, but he hasn't done it up yonder yet. Not yet. But goodness, what talent. You know what we're going to see right here. Look. Uh-oh. Mm. Yes, oh. Let me see where we at. They got your drawer right here. Oh, that's nice the way they got that, man. The tradition is back. Y'all laid the groundwork for him. Yeah, but you, you guys have picked it up and then took it and, and took it. Tell, tell me where we at. And we in the players' lounge now, the, the brand new players' lounge. Wow, this is off the chain, man. I live right here, Burt Reynolds Hall. We had different sections. Like we call that side the hood. That was suburbial living right here, and this was considered the rich side. You know, you lived on the rich side. Exactly. This was like a bed over here for your homie, and two shared the room. So that was okay. your boy's bed, and your bed was over here. And it was nice, man. Got a little back patio. This was the biggest mistake they had. <laughs> they, you can't put a back door on a dorm for a college kid. Oh. And then check curfew from the front, and not expect him to go out the back door. <laughs> Could you imagine this in the 80s, though, man? Oh, y'all thought y'all was balling. Oh, we was dug in back then. We was okay. dabbing back then. On the rich side. <laughs> You're right. This is the first time in your life that you're going to feel vulnerable. You're going to be sitting there on draft day saying, okay, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. And one team could change your destiny, man. Right. And I've seen some great players go to some bad teams, and something happens. But I've seen some dogs go anywhere, and they make it happen. Right. That's what you got to do.